Welcome, Melva family. What a blessed moment it is for you to join us on this lesson. I, I want you to sit right there and don't go away because this is the grand finale for this series of the book of Mark or the gospel according to the book of Mark. And we are talking about a risen Lord. This is so pivotal because not only does Jesus resurrect but there are many things in your life that need to be resurrected and we're going to be talking about it. So sit back, relax, be ready to take your notes, comment below, like, invite someone by sharing this lesson and re do remember to subscribe and to help me discuss the lesson is Brother King. Hi, Greetings hi. and how are you? I'm very well, how are you doing? Very well, thanks. Yeah. You you and I have the privilege of wrapping this thing. Yes. The, a, the panelists have done a great job in the past an, and I know I've done perhaps the record number of lessons <laughs> this quarter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's a privilege to, to wind up this lesson. I think it's, yes. it ends on a high. Very high. Yes. Uh, We're talking about the resurrection. The resurrection. Yeah. Yes. And so not only is Jesus resurrecting, by the way, mm. it says he resurrected with many graves that were opened. Mm -hmm. And so I'm hoping mm. and praying that as we end this one, mm. someone out there, perhaps it's me, mm. may God resurrect that which is ready to die yeah. and strengthen it. Would you pray for us as we begin? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before your throne as we delve into this lesson, the risen Lord. Father, we know yeah. this lesson makes the, the pivotal position for our spiritual standing. Mm. Because if you did not resurrect, then our faith becomes in vain. So we pray that as we walk through this lesson, you will guide us and teach us. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And so we are in the last section of the book of Mark chapter 16. Mm. And it's really his resurrection and his post-resurrection yeah. appearances. And particularly our key texts come from chapter 16 verse 6 which is under the resurrection. It says, mm. And he said unto them, mm. Be not affrighted. Mm. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. Mm. He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. Mm. So it's a clear announcement to Mary mm. as they come in to check and they were worried as they were coming in, these ladies. Mm. When we get there, that stone is heavy. Yeah. Who's, Who's going to roll, roll it away it for us? us? Yeah. <laughs> no, but but I'm, I'm, I'm looking at verse 6. Yeah. And the detail that is given there. Yes. Um, there was, because already at the burial, when he was put in the tomb, there was all the security put in place, the there seal, all those things yes. and sealing and the stuff. Um, and then here, the text mm. says, you, okay, be not afraid, you seek Jesus of Nazareth. Mm. First description. Yes. Which was crucified. It's possible there could have been, yes, there could have been another Jesus which was not crucified. An imposter. Yes. Yeah. And then they are told that the Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified, is risen. Mm -hmm. And he's not just risen. He is not <laughs> here anymore. Yes. And you can see where, yeah. where you had yeah. laid him. Mm. And it takes out where all doubts, all mm. questions mm. from these ladies. Because their first worry yeah. was, like we mentioned, who's going to roll the stone mm. and the thumb? So surprisingly, the stone is rolled away. Yeah. And the description matches mm. the person that they were looking for. Yeah. Now, the Bible says the angels told them, mm. go your way. Mm. They are coming to anoint, yeah. but they are told mm. on verse 7, go your way mm. and tell his disciples. Yeah. And Peter. 
mm-hmm. <laughs> that he goes before them into Galilee mm. and they uh, they shall you see him mm. as he said unto you but let's come back and talk about mm. the real story of resurrection yeah uh, perhaps capture a little bit from what chapter 15 says mm. chapter 15 verse 42 going onwards mm. uh is talking about the burial yes the circumstances of the burial mm. and it's 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 t- telling us about the Joseph of Arimathea who mm. came mm. and asked for his body mm. all right and they took the body mm. and they put it in a grave and uh the the point also of pilot mm. marveling mm. okay as he saw what was happening a couple of people are mentioned right there mm. and uh the fact that they took his body buried it mm. talk to us about the circumstances of his burial which then brings us to the resurrection mm. in chapter 16 okay so i'm i'm looking at the burial first mm-hmm. um the person that comes to claim the body mm-hmm. is not one of the core disciples mm. Mm. is someone who i believe was walking and following from far yeah he was not in the inner circle Mm-mm. he was not there but also the... he was rich yes and he was rich mm. so this guy um decides to offer mm. his investment because this is the tomb that he was preparing for himself yeah yeah so he takes that investment he says i'm going to use it for yeah this savior mm. that's number one. Mm. and then number two, where it says and pilate marveled if he were already dead mm the anticipation was that it's going to be longer there on the cross mm. even into the sabbath. the sabbath yeah so when joseph comes to claim the body pilate says he's dead already you know mm. it was too quick mm. but christ was quick yeah to keep the sabbath mm. on the cross for them and then they had to investigate and ascertain that he is indeed mm. dead mm. and then it goes on to say joseph brought in fine linen mm. which means the investments and the money that was put into the burial of christ mm-hmm. it was what these days people say a proper send off yes yeah as quick as it was as quick as it was yeah it was done properly <clears throat> by a rich person yes then the question would be how much have we contributed mm. to this work because if this burial did not happen we wouldn't be talking about the actual resurrection that we are talking about now yes so this mm. had to happen this was a process that had to happen mm. so that we can talk about this mm. resurrection and it also highlights the mood mm. that was there amongst the disciples seeing that the person that they were looking up to mm. has been taken away from them Mm. Number one, they already had the misconceived idea of his messiahship. Yeah. Yeah. Because they thought it was a political messiahship. Mm. And mm. they were thinking of what will happen to them. Maybe they will also be killed, you know, all those yes. things playing out in their mind and Joseph yeah. comes to their rescue. Mm. They never had to worry about the funeral. Mm. Mm. In fact, about Joseph of Arimathea, mm. an honorable counselor it says he was actually waiting for the kingdom of god mm. and i like the way mark puts his approach to pilate for the body mm. it says he went in boldly mm. unto pilate he was mm. not apologetic mm. i wish i could have friends like joseph and he craved that's what the bible yes. says he craved for the body of jesus i've got to have it I've got to make the sure passion. and and he bore, here's the point he 
he borrowed his sepulchre mm. hewn out of stone. Mm. That's an expensive funeral policy he was holding. Yes. Borrowed it to Jesus for two nights. And we still know it up to, up to today. today. I think if his family is still alive, they must mm. have ripped a lot of money from just saying this is the this tomb. was yeah. the tomb where he lay. And 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 remember the fine linen mm. when Jesus resurrected. Yeah. I think it is in the book of John, it says mm. when Peter came rushing into mm. the temple, he found that linen mm. nicely, nicely folded. It must have been expensive linen. To I? confirm the point that his yeah. funeral was proper. Yes. And he had resurrected. Now I, I like the text of chapter 16, mm. verse uh, 8. Remember the angel has said, go your way and tell yeah. his disciples. Mm. These are ladies mm -hmm. who had come. Because verse 1 of chapter 16 says, it was Mary Magdalene. Mm. It was Mary, the mother of, of James, James and Salome. And Salome. Okay, mm. They had come to anoint him. Look at verse mm. 8. Maybe read that verse 8 and hear the terminology mm. of how how they moved from the sepulchre. Uh, and uh, maybe before I, 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 yeah. I, I read that, yeah. these are the women who also, that very, and then the night of mm -hmm. the Sabbath, mm -hmm. they also went, they went and out sold. of, and, 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 and bought. Yes, the oils and the, the oils ointments. And the yes. ointments. And these were expensive oils and ointments yeah. as well. I think so, Brother Joseph must have funded the budget. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Maybe. But it, it shows how much people were willing to invest mm. on this Jesus. Yes. The, how much they believed in this mm. Jesus. Mm. Now, verse 8 says, And yeah. they went out quickly mm -hmm. and fled from the sepulchre. <laughs> For they trembled and were amazed. Neither yeah. said they anything to any man for they were afraid. Mm -hmm. mm. The, look at the, I want you to consider mm. the type of movement. Mm -hmm. They went out Quick. quickly. And then Mark says, and they fled, fled. as if they were running. Are because we? you don't flee yeah. unless you're being chased. Uh -huh. <laughs> so the presence of the angels at the grave site mm. caused, and the message they had, yes caused them to move swiftly. Mm. I want to take this to another level mm. as we conclude this mm. gospel series. Mm. How quickly is our church mm. moving with the gospel that's flying in the midst of heaven? Yeah. How quickly are we going with the news mm. that he is risen? He is risen. How quickly... I've noticed how we've become very sluggish the more we get organized yeah. into a global structure. Yeah. Some decisions now take years yes. to be implemented. Yeah. <clears throat> and you've got to wait for the church board, which means the spirit mm. cannot move you to do something mm. that will benefit the church. Yeah. You can't go on a mission now. Mm. These ladies process. were pull, Yeah, you've got to go through the whole process. I'm not mm. saying the process is bad, mm. but I'm actually just making a recognition and a declaration yeah. that some of our structures and our mm. systems of working no longer incorporate divine intervention. Yeah. Just an interaction with an angel mm. caused these women, they are women, move. to Swift. move quickly. Mm. And by the way, that's why we are saying the first evangelist who actually proclaimed the message of the resurrection mm -hmm. were women. women. And they did it very quickly. Very quickly. And they, they fled yeah. from the presence of the angels mm. to go and warn them. And, and it says here, verse 9, mm. again, another testimony of another lady who was involved. Now, mm. when Jesus was risen early the first day of the week, he appeared first mm. to Mary Magdalene, mm. out of whom had cast seven, seven devils. devils. Mm. And she went and told them that had been with him mm. as, as they, they mourned. mourned and wept. And they, when they had heard that he was alive and had been seen of her, believed mm. not. We're the, talking the, about the, the caliber of the person. <laughs> the caliber of the person. Um, okay, I think that's the challenge that we have. Mm. Um, 
I think we have got good memory. I'll use that. All right. We've got good memory. We don't forget. We don't forget uh, to a point that even uh, transformed souls, Mm -hmm. we still look at them with suspicion. Mm. Um, Number one, if we go back to verse 7, it says, Go your way, tell his disciples. This is the angel telling them. Go and tell disciples. Mm. A possibility that you can be in the inner circle, but not be the first one to receive the gospel. Mm. The gospel is coming with those who are from outside. Yeah. Who were used, uh, who used to be the vilest. Yes. Those yes. from outside are the ones who have received the gospel. Yeah. He is risen. And in fact, this is a woman telling Jewish men. Mm-hmm. I picture an African woman mm-hmm. trying to teach African men. African men. Depths of salvific Salvation. messages. So, because of that, it was difficult for these men to, who were still mourning yeah, yeah. to accept the message. Mm, mm, mm. They didn't look at the message. They couldn't go past this woman. Yes. Because then the Bible is even saying that it, this is the woman whom Christ cast out seven demons. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. And I believe they couldn't get past that. No. Yeah. And, and, and again... Just to highlight this challenge, I think as we close this quarter, Mm. Jesus is making it clear that following him, Mm. being his disciple, Mm. is going to come with a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. One of them, the person you thought would lead you into the kingdom you Mm. thought he's going to establish, Mm. gets eliminated. In circumstances you are not even sure of, and the night he's eliminated, one of his disciples goes and hangs himself. Mm. And one of them, mm. and all of them mm. are, scattered. are scattered. And the one who sticks by him mm. denies him. And mm. so he stands by himself. by himself. This thing is finished, man. Mm. It's gone. So, and, and, and by the way, they were huddled up in one room mm-hmm. in Jerusalem, yeah. the place where they were being looked for. Yeah. Jesus had been crucified. Mm. I'm sure Pilate and the governors would have been looking for more mm. souls to crucify, crucify, to please Rome. Yeah. So they are hiding. And God decides on that situation to send women out to the grave. Mm-hmm. I'm being particular here. Yeah. And not only women out. Mm. But Jesus appears himself to one of the to women of them. who mm. is the worst of souls where many demons had been cast mm. out. And what happens to him? He sends that lady mm. as a missionary to go and teach the disciples. Mm-hmm. Now, the other challenge that mm. these women who came in chapter 16, yeah. just going back to the point we mentioned earlier mm. on, there are times when we know mm-hmm that this road is going to be difficult that yeah. we're choosing to take. Yeah. And we know there's going to be hurdles here. Mm. The women were worried, who's going to roll that stone away from us? Mm. For it is too great yeah. and heavy. Yes. But wanna... the interesting thing yeah. with these women, mm. while they are worried about who's going to roll mm-hmm. the stone, they still... were still going. <laughs> exactly. They that's were the still going. And, and that's the point that we are lacking to say once we have figured out that there is a possible yeah. obstacle, yeah. we stop. But I believe, Brother King, it's, it's speaking exactly to us today. Our doubts, mm. our concerns must not stop us from going. No. In fact, God's miracles are exhibited as we go. When we are there. Yes. The ocean or the sea. Parted when parted they, Jordan, while you are still in Goshen. Jordan would not part until, until you put your feet into Jordan. The lamb would not be provided Unless until you, you are on top up. Yes. on the mountain. Yeah. And so God is teaching us here that don't worry. The stone will be rolled away. Yeah. Don't worry. The, 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 the obstacles you think are on your way mm. shall be removed sorted. as you go. And so the idea therefore is Jesus says, you must go Mm. and preach the gospel. Mm. And he's not going to take away all the obstacles. No. Because when when everything becomes easy 
and we have it figured out. Mm. We know exactly who this God is and what he's going to say. I think he ceases to be God. To be God. And the good news ceases to be good news. Mm. We have to go regardless. And mm. so the women came to the tomb. Mm. And even though them, here's a point I picked up there. Mm. Angels are important beings. They are mm. messengers of God. Mm. But they were not hyped up because they saw an angel. No. Some of our prophets nowadays are so hyped up because they have met an angel who revealed something to them and suddenly mm. they become this very important. These mm. women never even took Spoke the experience. About the no. The message was the, the most important. Important thing. Not the message. Not an advanced angel. Yeah. Many people are worshipping angels today because they, the angel appeared to them. And, and the angel brought them. And message. yet the angel that came to John said, ah, don't worship me. Mm -mm. Worship him. Yeah. So the key here for the women, for me, who came to the tomb mm. was that they heard the message mm. and went away with speed mm. to spread it to the people who need to hear it. And I pray, Brother King, mm. our church may wake up and mm. resurrect and gain the efficiency we need. Mm -hmm. Haven't we learned what COVID showed us? It seems like we have forgotten. We've quickly forgotten. Mm. And have gone back each one to their own ways mm. and have forgotten that the freedoms we have today, mm. we could Can easily lose taken them. Away. And therefore, we need to go swiftly yeah. with this message and let it fly mm. that Jesus is risen and is coming again. Talk to us about the appearing to Mary. I think we've touched it a little bit. Yes. But perhaps we can combine that with the call to mm. go into the whole world that Jesus then gave to the disciples. Okay. So... We, we, we look at the situation where, okay, first the women have met the angel who told them, go and tell the disciples. Mm. But because they were frightened, they didn't go with the message. Mm. So the message mm. still had to go. Yes. And then Christ himself then appears to Mary, mm -hmm. who was one of the women that were told, go and tell. tell. Now he comes to emphasize the message that, just in case you doubted the angel, mm. this is the true message. This is the true gospel that you need to take. Mm. Now, this message is a message that was given to them by Christ before he was crucified. Because he mm. told them, I will be crucified, I will die, buried, and resurrect again. Mm. So this was evidence now to say, that which I had said, I told you. Now, go and tell the, mm. the disciples. Mm. Now, the disciples are not even in a position to accept the message because of the messenger yeah. who is bringing yeah. the message. They still have doubts that I am. Mm. This we man. know this lady. Just like them, remember, <laughs> when Christ was crucified, they went back yeah. to their own old... Uh, yeah. Peter said, I go fishing. Go fishing. What, what? <laughs> and they all came with They them. thought she would have also gone back to her old ways mm. just like them so sometimes <laughs> sometimes we attribute our own weakness to other people uh, we project yes yeah sometimes when people tell you what they are afraid of and mm. they warn you about certain things they mm. are projecting their own fears their own fears you. that's what we do say oh, okay mm. if i can relapse you also can relapse mm. so i mm. i don't i don't yeah. trust you but ultimately christ then mm. say, he, he appears to them yes. and uh, then gives them the mandate. Mm. Go ye. But let's look at preach. that before they even get the mandate. Verse 14, mm. when he appears in the upper room and says afterward, mm. he, so the angels appear and tell the ladies to go and minister mm -hmm. to the evangelists, mm. the apostles, mm. to confirm so mm. that he can activate the call for them to go. Mm. So they, they rejected this internal arrangement. Yeah. So I think God has a message for the messengers. Mm -hmm. For you and I, mm. before we can go out there, out. we need to talk about things we have, we have seen, seen and things we have heard. And things we have touched. Exactly. So they're refusing this testimony. Mm -hmm. So Jesus then comes by himself. Mm. Verse 14, afterward mm. he appeared unto the eleven. Mm. as they said to have their meat or their meal mm. and upbraided them. Mm -hmm. That's a strong word. Yeah. With their unbelief mm -hmm. and the hardness of heart mm. because they believed not them which 
had sent uh, which, them which had sent him mm. after he had was, seen him. Yeah. yeah, we had seen him mm. after he had risen. Yeah. So he says, I send you evidence. Mm. You didn't believe. Yeah. But then even with their hardness of heart, mm. with their with their unbelief, mm -hmm. verse 15 then says, and he said unto them, <laughs> with your fears, mm. with your concerns, mm. Thomas and all of the other guys who doubted mm. and had unbelief. He commissions them to go into the world mm. and preach the gospel to every creature. Mm. Verse 16, and he, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Mm. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Mm. Shall they cast out devils? Mm. And shall speak with new, new tongues. Mm -hmm. They shall take up serpents. Mm. And if they drink any deadly thing, it, it shall, shall not hurt them. them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Mm. Now, he commissions them to go to the world. Mm. What is the message they are sending to the world? Mm. He is risen. Yeah. There is a salvation. In, in Jesus. In this man. Yeah. In fact, I like it how Revelation, maybe this is a quote I can share mm. while you give me your closing remarks. Mm. Uh, you prepare your closing remarks. Revelation mm. chapter 12. Remember the, the mm. context is the war in heaven. Yes. And the dragon falls. Yeah. Listen to what heaven pronounces when, mm. on verse 10, when the dragon is judged. Mm. It says, I heard a voice from heaven saying, now, not tomorrow. Mm. Mm. When Satan was cast out, and we know when he was cast out. Yeah. It was when Jesus was nailed to the cross. Yes. Then the door in heaven was shut to Lucifer or to, to Satan. Mm -hmm. He could not access it. In fact, mm -hmm. in the book of Luke, Jesus says, I saw him fall from heaven like a star. Mm -hmm. So look, look at what is unlocked by our gospel. Yeah. It says, now is salvation mm -hmm. come. So we are preaching the message of salvation. Yeah. And strength... Mm -hmm. We are not weak, Brother King. Mm -hmm. This picture of the church that's weak and, and yeah. cannot get solutions and get things sorted out, mm. it's not representing Jesus well. Yeah. Because not only do we have strength, it says, and a kingdom of God mm. has come. And not only that, but also the power of his Christ. These mm. things have been given to us mm. because... He has been cast out. Mm. So when God looks at us right now, he's not looking at the weak people. Mm. We, we are weak because we make ourselves weak. fearful. Yeah. Because our unbelief mm -hmm. and our hard hearts, mm. our blindness, mm. makes it difficult for us to see mm. the spiritual realm and to speak into the darkness of our lives. Jesus just wants us to be available yeah. to speak the word because the spirit is ready yeah. to lead us. Maybe give me your concluding remarks yeah. as we end this series. Uh, I'll conclude with uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Mm -hmm. um, chapter, verse 12 says, Now if Christ be preached that mm. he rose from the dead, how yes. say some among you that there is no resurrection for the mm. dead? But if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is Died not risen. Yeah. Yeah. If Christ be not risen, then mm. our preaching is in vain, vain, and your faith is also in mm. vain. Mm. Yea, and we are found false witnesses of God, because we have testified of God mm. that has raised up Christ, whom he raised not up, if so be that the dead rise not. Mm. So we're living in a world where we're losing loved ones, we're yes. preaching about the goodness of God and so but at mm. the core of what we are preaching about is that Christ is coming again. Yes. And when he comes, the dead in Christ will rise yeah. first. Yeah. And if mm. we doubt his resurrection, then even if we proclaim that we have faith in Jesus, it is in vain. Mm. And and mm. I'm calling that while we are talking about his resurrection, mm -hmm. anything that has died in us needs to yeah. be resurrected Amen. together with him. Amen. And then we can proclaim this gospel. Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you so much, my brother. And to our viewers and our listeners out there, this is all that we had for you. We thank you for taking time to watch this one. 
We are coming again next week with a new series. And mm. so don't go away so that you don't miss that one. Please remember to subscribe. Remember to like and to share. Mm. God bless you. Brother King, would you pray for us? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we once again thank you for reminding us of your resurrection, mm. which is the pillar on which we can base our faith. And we know that you've given us the mandate and you've given us the power mm. that we can go out there and proclaim the gospel. Mm. And this is the gospel that you have risen from the dead mm. and you have the power over death to also raise us from our dead selves. Mm. Father, we pray that when everything is said and done, Father, we might be found worth of your calling and proclaiming the gospel. For this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.